Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a glorious weekend. I wanted to come on here and show you guys how I make this humongous, humongous artwork, you guys, for a fraction of a cost, you guys. They're going to make you think that you purchased them from an art store or a high-end store for pennies on a dollar. First thing I did purchase was these huge, huge canvases. And first of all, I had planned on painting them, but I don't really trust myself in painting these. Um, but anyway, I purchased these canvases from Amazon, and you got two in a pack. They were $56.43. You might be saying $56.43. That's kind of costly, but you guys, if you go to check your other stores, unless you use a coupon at Hobby Lobby or Michael, you can't get beat the price you get two of these and they're 36 inches by 48 inches you guys huge huge canvases also the other items that you're going to need are some glue sticks plenty a lot of glue sticks your glue gun and some scissors you guys and this beautiful tapestry that i also purchased at, on amazon you guys for 15 dollars so making that a total of what $72 for a huge um, canvas art that going to look like you spent $400. First thing first, you want to make sure your canvas is, your tapestry is properly sized to your canvas. So I made sure that my canvas was a 56 inch by 82 inch canvas and I'm just cutting it in half. You want to pick a, cam a uh, tapestry with an abstract art look or something that looks like it has been painted you guys so it will make your artwork pop and I part this previous tapestry in a haul video that you can check out below next I'm just sizing up and trying to figure out the way I am going to position my tapestry over my canvas you guys and also if you don't really want to purchase purchase the canvas I already had it for a previous um, project you can also use um, foam board from the Dollar Tree and then buy your um, tapestry but here I am just securing my corner of my tapestry and if you have some clips you guys you can just clip it but I'm going to use my glue gun because I have some clips but they're in the basement you guys and I am not going down there this time of night so if you have clips to secure you can but I just put a little bit of hot glue just to hold the position of my tapestry to my canvas next you see me I had started to uh, flip over my canvas and started to glue. I started to glue on my smaller ends and just work myself around <clears throat> the. Oh, excuse me, guys. Try work myself around the canvas, pulling the um, tapestry as tightly and taut as I can, so that I can get out all the wrinkles. But if you want to take the time to iron your tapestry before applying it, I suggest you do so. But me, I'm always trying to find a quicker way. So just, you know, do yours the right way. <laughs> I think sometimes I be so in a rush to get stuff done that <clears throat> I make more work for myself. But as you can see, I'm just going around my canvas and gluing the back. Just not a, not a lot of glue, but enough to hold it because you don't want to ruin your canvas in case like me. Um, you plan on changing out ta your tapestry because that's the good thing about this you can change out those tapestries um, for seasons because you know as you can see right now I'm using the same canvas that I had just took off the flower the original flower tapestry and adding this one here and I'm just going around with my glue gun
once you have the top side down and one side down that is this is when you really need to pull the tapestry as tight as you can but make sure you don't break you know the frame of your canvas but you want it to be very taut and very straight you guys so now I'm on the opposite side of the longer side and I'm just pulling it and I'm going to just be gluing it Now that I'm up to the final um, side, I have a little um, leftover uh, tapestry that I'm just going to cut off and simply finish gluing. Okay guys, this is it you guys and it came out so, so beautiful you guys. My only thought I purchased some new artwork. He said, hmm, when did you change the artwork? And I said, same canvas. And I told him that I just changed the tapestry on them. But you guys, look how beautiful these look. Absolutely. Looks like somebody water painted these. I absolutely love how they came out, you guys. Um, so $72 for two something that you may see at z gallery for four hundred dollars a piece you guys seventy two dollars and like i said you don't have to buy the canvases you can also use um foam board from the dollar tree the tapestry is what makes the painting you guys i absolutely love it you guys and i want to thank you all for watching if you like this video give me a thumbs up a comment and share and if you want I want to and you are new go ahead and hit that subscribe button you guys I would love to have you for future um, DIYs you guys and stay blessed and enjoy your weekend bye